damage. Hundreds of people turned out for the annual Labor Day parade this morning in Wilmington. That's where KCAL 9 Susan Marquez is live with a look at the festivities there. Suzanne. Dave, I will be honest, it is hot and steamy out here, but everybody is having a good time. And you know what? Even when you're sweating out here, if you have something fun to look at, it helps take you away. Now check out some of our images of the parade going down Long Beach this morning. Now the LA Long Beach Labor Coalition Labor Day Parade. It made its way from Broad and E Street to Banning Park. That's where I'm at right now in Wilmington. Now, there were hundreds of participants and a rally happening here, including music, dancing, and lots of performances by local bands, including the Bell Cheerleaders that I saw out here. Now, car clubs were also out here showing off their classic vehicles. But we also had labor groups out here. In fact, that's probably the majority of what we're seeing out here. Firefighters are out here cooking up hundreds of hot dogs for hungry parade grower, goers and participants. They're here along with dozens of other labor groups celebrating Labor Day, of course, honoring the working people of the U.S. But organized labor is also speaking out against Prop 32. The initiative is intended to ban special interest money from making its way into politicians' campaign coffers, including donations by unions, but labor leaders say it only hurts one side. It's a big lie because it says one thing on paper about evening out and getting rid of any kind of money influence. On the other hand, Prop 32 will only, only, Prop 32 will only eliminate labor's in, uh, participation in the political process. Now, Janice Hahn helped lead the parade today. We're going to talk to her and come back at you, 2 p.m. right back here on KCAL 9. Reporting live for now in Wilmington, I'm Suzanne Marquez. I'll send it back to you. All right, Suzanne, thank you. Some people spent their Labor Day morning taking in the annual Labor Solidarity Parade in Long Beach. KCAL 9 Suzanne Marquez reports the parade is a tradition that began more than 30 years ago. The L.A. Long Beach Labor Coalition Labor Day Parade, celebrating our nation's workforce with an array of performances, displays of classic cars, and a day filled with live music. In addition to the entertainment, the Labor Coalition has booths for voter registration and information on various causes they support. But the most important to them, defeating Prop 32. The way it's been promoted, as we, we call it payroll deception, because the way they're promoting it is like it's campaign reform for all companies. It's for, for not only unions, but it's also for businesses. But what they don't tell you is that the big corporations' profits and the billionaires can still write checks as they want. The ballot measure, dubbed the Paycheck Protection Initiative, prohibits unions from obtaining political funds from members through paycheck deductions without specific permission, as unions face declining membership numbers. Union membership has stalled in the last 20 years in the state of California, even as the population grew by 8 million and added 2 million workers. Critics say Prop 32 would significantly impact unions and their workers and contains loopholes for big business and wealthy backers. The parade ended here at Banning Park in Wilmington with union leaders hoping to fire up their members for the fall election. Reporting in Wilmington, I'm Suzanne Marquez, KCAL 9 News. But supporters for Prop 32 say the measure will ensure that California workers have the right to decide how to spend the money they earn.